Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Around 7.30 Saturday evening, the Grundy Police Department received a call from an upset parent saying he thought someone had just attempted to abduct his small child outside the Double Quick near Walmart. He was sitting in his vehicle or in the front seat of the truck and the child was sitting in the back seat of the truck and a man opened the uh, passenger side door of the back and, and got in the rear seat with his kid and closed the door. Chief Fletcher says the driver of the vehicle told 19-year-old Tyler Vanover he was in the wrong vehicle and an argument ensued between the two men. The, for whatever reason, the, the individual made a move towards the child or reached towards the child and the man at that point forcibly removed him from the vehicle, um, told him to go away. Vanover fled on foot, but at the time his identity was unknown. But after a Facebook post from the police department was made, Vanover was identified and then questioned by police. According to Chief Fletcher, he admitted to being intoxicated and didn't remember the incident. I, I think this was a young man who just made some poor decisions that night. I think he was genuinely drunk. Um, and, and he, he got into the wrong vehicle. The parent decided not to press charges, agreeing that abducting his child was not Vanover's intent. However, charges are still possible. The uh, investigation is ongoing to the point where we have consulted with Commonwealth Attorney's Office and, and we're going to see where we take it from there. In Grundy, Virginia, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.